Actually, I, I don't think I've seen that one before, but I really haven't shot a lot of these guys either, so... I really wouldn't know. I shot that tree real good, though. I wanna... That was unfortunate. <laughs> Apparently I can't spot stuff. Is that the leucistic one? I think that might be the leucistic one. Okay, let's see if we can get it. Is that a long shot? I think it's a long shot. I haven't had a leucistic before. Why the hell am I lacking up here? I haven't had a leucistic before, but I've um, definitely had a few melanistic ones. And I've changed to use the... 243 again, so I'm not sure what kind of damage we're looking at with that on the chamois, but it definitely does look like we did get a vital, at least with that amount of blood. And um, yeah, I think I have like three melanistics, and I don't hunt these guys at all. So uh, go up here, check him out. He just didn't look like the other ones, so it is a leucistic. Suppose that we're gonna get that to the lodge. Who knows if we're ever gonna need that for anything. I think that's another leucistic one. I was just complaining about not seeing as many uh, leucistic as I did melanistic, and I thought, well, maybe the leucistic wasn't barked, or maybe we're just supposed to have a lot of them. Um, a lot of more melanistics, but <laughs> these are really the next herd that I see. Seems to be a uh, another leucistic one. And I think I got that. I'm probably gonna try again. Well, doesn't really matter too much. It's not anything that we need the trophy from, but um, at least if it is another leucistic, then we get another rare. We actually got a vital on the second hit when he was running away, or she. I didn't even pay attention to what it was, but um, that at least makes me happy because I don't know what happened with the first one. Uh, is that another leucistic one? It is. Wait, no, first one was a right lung shot. Okay. Second one was barely a flash, but... Hmm, maybe... They aren't as rare as I hoped they were, but um, yeah, at least now we have two. I've never done the river run in the very early morning hours, so I'm going to try to do that and see if we can find anything interesting. What drinks this early is the feral pig and the chamois, and uh, at least it does seem like the feral piggies has uh, made an appearance. We're at the bridge at the very start. Doesn't look like there's anything interesting here, but um, yeah, let's get those off and actually get started with the river run. We just booked that one set of piggies, and uh, now we got an entire other herd of piggies. Uh, still doesn't really look like we're having any big ones, but it's nice to see this amount of piggies out here at least. I still don't have a diamond feral pig, so one could hope, right? Doesn't look like it's going to be with these guys, though. Another few small ones. We might as well take a few of them out, though. Um... I kind of want that guy and one of the spotted ones, so. Did I get that? I did that time. Let's go. Pick those up. See if we um, get anything better on the other side. I don't know what to be looking for on the other side, because over here used to be fallow deer. On this side used to be mostly feral goats until you get up to like this area around here. But um, the feral piggies mostly roam around down here in the south. So at least I think we have chosen the right bank for that. Pick that one up. Another black spot. They're really cool. I love the different uh, variations of the black spotted ones. And the uh, brown hybrid one isn't too bad either. Well, so far, gotta be honest and uh, say that we've only had luck with any kind of piggies down here and we haven't seen anything else near the river. I'm not quite sure this is going to be worth our time, but at least we get to try it and you don't have to. It's almost at the river. I mean, if I turn around, I can see the river from here. So I suppose we can count this as a part of the river run. <laughs> it's right there. Uh, but I did hope for a little more than turkey, if I'm going to be honest. I suppose it's... Probably the best that we've had for a while. A gold-scoring turkey. <laughs> Get back out to the river. Didn't make it that much further, but uh, yeah, at least we saw an animal. Yay! Yeah. That's impressive. A five medium red deer. I'm not even gonna bother with it, but at least he's here. 
There's really nothing. He must be eating, right? Yeah. I mean, the river run didn't work at all. So uh, now we're back looking at some chamois. And uh, for some reason, we don't get any good ones here either. But that's not going to stop me. It's good money. So uh, take out a few of those. I picked that up too. Oh, uh, he's it. And... Bang. Shot him right in the back of the head. <laughs> Poor thing. I don't really particularly care about the zone, but we're in a stand here anyway, so we might as well just take advantage of it and uh, pick up as much money as we can get. It's another guy. Another hit. And um, yeah, that's a bunch of dead chamois. And uh, even shot with the M1, as I'm using right here, they actually still give you quite a lot of experience and cash. So uh, definitely a viable animal to run around and try to level up from fast if you're looking for anything like that. 871, and this is uh, without getting the harvest check because we're missing out on a single one. But the amount you just can take out with the uh, M1 instead of using, like, let's say the 243 then um, it definitely makes it worth it if you can hit your shots. Uh, I see really big antlers, but I don't think I'm going to be able to spot it from here. That's got to be a five, right? Come on, let me see you. Nope. Ah! Need to get closer. Need to get closer, but I believe we might be in luck. Can I do a jump spot? Nope. Come on! God dang thing. Suppose we might actually get a better view if we go out to the water. But yeah, the early morning river run didn't pay out to do anything good at all. We got a few turkeys and a few piggies, but uh, where the real money is at is definitely this early, well, noon-ish, just before noon-ish hunt, where you're going to be finding the uh, mountain. They're not called mountain goats, they're called feral goats, and the fallow deer drinking at the same time. Um, we're actually a bit late here, so uh, the time zones might actually have to change before we even get to the good part of the map, which is usually in here. But I do want to see if uh, this fallow deer is going to be anything with any kind of potential. We might have already spooked him, though. Is that a really weird point for us? But we're going to see him run off, and if he's anything good, we'll try to get him. Is that him? Uh, why? Just give me the spot, god dang it. That's a five. He's alert. He's going to be taking off in a moment, isn't he? Nah. Let's go. Quick shot. Boom. Boom. Ooh. Thank God I went up. Ooh. Ugh. Anything else? I want you dead. Thank you. I don't think you can escape my uh, real good shooting. And uh, yeah. Another five fallow deer. I think this might be number eight. Maybe even number nine. But it's definitely <laughs> on the insane side. I've gotten at least two or three times more fallow deer diamonds on this map than uh, in my entire three and a half years of having Hirsfeld available to me. I'm actually not sure if he's going to make diamond. It doesn't look that big. But um, 260. It's a diamond fallow deer. Another one, as uh, some big DJ producer thing would say. Hot dang. That's, that's got to be right. That's a five. Oh, no. That guy's trophy estimate is just a four, but he's even even as big. But yeah, guys, this is the right time to do the river run. Uh, we actually had some real big mountain, well, feral goats over here as well, up to 195, both of them. But um, we got a big level five, and I think it's even with the... Was it with the mixed? Or is that just white? That's probably just a white furry color. But I think I need that guy dead as well. And those are, f they should be far enough away. So they're not going to spook, I hope. So let's give it a try. I want this guy down at least. He's dead. And nope, he didn't spook. He did get alert though. So he can have a bullet. And that should be lungs, I think. So, that's two with the uh, plus 200 trophy rating. 
I'm not even sure. I don't remember what you need for trophy rate of trophy rating for diamond on uh, feral goat, but I suppose they're gonna be real big golds if anything. And let's pick up the first big boy. They weren't as far away as I thought they were, but we did get a decent shot. 170. Oh, that's not good. 208 for diamond. The other guy's trophy is to med maxed out at, um, I think, was it 203? So, yeah, I think we're going to get trolled by our first level 5 feral goat. I haven't seen any of these before. I got a level 4 diamond before, so they do exist. 194.60 with the blonde fur variation. Um, I think I'm actually going to keep him. He can go in the 2021 large of... Uh, maybe we'll do some... Oh, we even messed up. It wasn't a diamond anyway, you guys. It wasn't even going to be a diamond anyway. So that was why we didn't hit... Wait. I'm shooting it with the wrong gun. <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> uh, that's what happens when you start not paying too much attention to what you're doing in this game, I suppose. If anything, it only proves that uh, this dang river is definitely way better in the early, well, midday kind of thing. Just before midday than it is in the early morning. We've seen a quite a bit of different sea can such as well. Nothing that I really wanted to shoot at, but... We did get another diamond fallow deer, so definitely can't complain about that. And a big troll goat too. So uh, yeah, just don't even bother with the river run in the early morning. It seems to be pretty much a waste of time.